Hey guys, welcome to Concept and Coding, and this is Shreyansh. And today we have Basant with us. And hey, Basant, welcome to this channel. Hi, Shreyansh. Thank you so much for inviting me. Hey, thank Just you for accepting, here. man. Still, can you please little bit brief about yourself? I was at a 2020 batch. So after that, I got a placement opportunity from a company named Hexaway Technologies. So I was working in Hexaway for across 2.4 years. So it's a service based okay. company. And I was working there as an associate software engineer. Achha. And in those 2.4 years, I worked on back as a backend engineer. Company came to Java, Spring Boot, Cloud. Okay. So like that DevOps side. Okay. Then I moved from Hexaway to Worse Innovation, Daily Hunt. So I was working for the Daily Hunt almost for four to five months. And because of some internal reasons, I switched from Daily Hunt to Rakuten. So in Daily Hunt, I worked as a software engineer position and I was same working on the same as a backend engineer in the same Spring Boot, Java, Spring Reflex, also one of the new framework and Kafka and mm -hmm. Redis and all those things. So completely backend plus cloud I was working on. Okay, after that, like I moved into Rakuten. So I was working as a Rakuten with me as a software engineer too. And it was a kind of a great journey there, like almost a year I was working there. And I learned a lot of things in that. So seeing a uh, completely, I was into backend plus cloud plus DevOps. So in this domain, then from that recently, I joined Paytm Payments Bank as a senior software engineer, as a backend engineer only. And uh, the domains tech stack is same Java, Spring Boot, microservices. Awesome. And all. So completely my 3.4 years, I can say is completely into backend. Okay. So, so one question just uh, comes to my mind that you have certain frequent changes, right? from service to product. Yeah. And I can see that four months, seven months, 11 months, right? One thing which a lot of questions comes to me that, uh, Shreyash, generally, if we have so many switches, will it impact our resume or not, right? I I, I always uh, give my answer, but today let me ask you, do you have so many frequent changes? Does it question has come to into your interview, like why you are changing so frequently? How generally you tackle this question? Will Does it impact in the interview or not? Definitely not even interview. Before interview stage, when we have a resume selection stage. Okay. So in resume also, the HR goes through all the things. So they have definitely that frequently question coming up. Why so many switches you are doing? Like, is it because of package or it is because of something issue? So I have genuine reasons for that. Okay. Like there was some... Uh, like I didn't get the proper learning or I was expecting some much more work or I want to follow in this particular domain and all those. So if you have a specific reasons which should be acceptable and which should be genuine reason, not as such fake or something. So that in that case, HRs and every, everyone goes. So because okay. most of the people look for your skill set, okay, Correct. your learnings. If you are a great learner and if you are a, whatever the uh, like uh, uh, tech sec you have worked on, if you have a great skill set in that. So nobody wants to uh, lose a candidate like that. Okay. So definitely this things comes uh, during my interview, why so many frequent switches, but I have a proper genuine reasons for that because of some, some so-and-so reasons. I left out this organization because of so-and-so I'm looking for a new opportunity. So okay. in that case, most of the times it got agreed. Got it. Got it. Uh, thanks, man. So one more question, like before even we go to the interview preparation, so many companies in this, and I see that mostly in last uh, four months, 11 months, right? How you are getting this job opportunities? So in a past year, when I start looking out for the jobs, okay. So initially I was going to the only the LinkedIn pro, uh, platform. So that's one of the best platform I can recommend to any types of engineers, like senior level, pressure level, anyone, because you can find any kinds of jobs here. Just you need to be a selective. So what kind of job you're looking for, what kind of experience. So you can filter that, you can make that filter and you can filter out the jobs. Okay. Based on that, you can start applying. Okay. So one of the best thing I do is I go for easy apply because in that it will just take a few seconds. Otherwise, if it redirects to any website, in that case, you need to fill a form, complete form, which might take in half an hour or an hour sometimes. Okay. So I generally go the application, which are of easy apply. I have filtered that thing and then I start applying in that. So that's my first thing. Then second things, I have specific lists have been made for the companies. Okay. So I directly reach out to their HR. So I send a connection request to them. And in that, I have a form, the message kind of thing. And I directly forward that message. Hi, I hope you're doing well. I'm looking out for the job for specific role and years, your years of experience I have. So if they have any job opportunity linked to that, they will definitely reach out to me. And most of the HRs are really friendly. They will definitely reach out to you in any case if they have the opportunity. Okay. So in that case, just I forward my resume. And in that case, I got so... Uh, 
the la- last platform which i use is linkedin and apart from that recently i started using insta hire also Achha. so i can say that i can recommend that is also one of the best platform you can go after linkedin so apart from these two platforms i have not used a single any platform yet just linkedin and insta hire that's all cool cool, cool. and uh, the day you decided that uh, you have to move on from the rocketon and the day you have been selected in the uh, paytm so what's the duration like one month two month three months like what's the gap actually it's a constant learning okay so i was learning from a faster year because i have switched to okay. linkedin a year so i was learning from that faster year experience okay from the past year i was learning different different topics and all those things so i was applying into the jobs interviews okay. and if i get rejected in some of the interviews so i was preparing those things what topics i am lacking on and all those things so the, for the coding purpose i almost spent 6 months so when i was in hexaware at that time only i start my coding journey so it's like in april 2022 i start in coding journey and then i uh, start working on it and more and more and more and that's how i got to crack multiple offers and multiple companies like okay that. then i think uh, what my understanding is you never stop practicing you were consistent yeah. so even though you were yeah. working it but in your free time you were practicing when you looking for opportunity better opportunities so that's how yeah. you yeah. Oh, awesome man that yeah so yeah. that and okay. people like have a misconception that we can't prepare while we are working in a company yeah definitely so it's, it's not uh, like that okay correct, because correct. i was working in a company and i was preparing so if you spend at least an hour or two hour a day and easily you will get it any company or working you can easily get a hour to work so you need to work on that so what's your strategy from where you learn like whatever you wanted to share in your preparation journey department okay okay so initially if i talk about like the coding journey if i properly talk about the coding journey so that's like you can take any things you can start for any like sheets or like shiver sheet or something okay and you can start preparing the basics so basically first of all you need to cover your basics if you're not clear at your basics you can't do you can't move forward at all so first clear your basics then go for the specific uh, like arrays questions or some uh, sorting questions or bfs dfs question graph question like that level wise you need to move on okay so i was using a lead code platform for that so i was preparing from past uh, i think 6 to 7 months through the lead code and geek for geeks generally like i was using geek for geeks also parallelly for that okay so i was selecting the question based on the company wise also like if i uh, suppose if i have a uh, company amazon uh, next day interview so i was going through all the questions which have been asked amazon earlier from lead code and or something other platform like geek for geeks and i was preparing according to that so my most of the learning if i can uh, talk about that is like you should uh, you you will really get to learn from the interviews which you are giving okay so interviews is one of the thing which you can learn most even you you need to practice daily plus you need to give the interviews if you have a fear of that that i will get rejected from this company then what i will do so if you get rejected from one company you have still 99 companies there in your list okay right. you can go for those 99 companies and you will definitely learn from the first company interview that and you can use that thing and you can move on with the other company so my main learning was from the interview which I was giving i have given like a lot of interview i can say from a past year i almost more than 100 interviews i have given in the past oh, awesome, so i have learned a lot yeah so i have learned a lot from those interviews so my main learning was from the interviews plus constant learning constant coding practice daily i was solving like one or two co- coding problem from geek for geeks or geek code at the platform and for hld lid i thanks to shreyans his channel i am following from past one and a half years like that so it's a great good learning if you can learn from the channel and like for the basics you can go to like for lid hld the other channels are also there for uh, years of experience get even two or like that okay you definitely there will be a separate lid and hld round in each and every company you either yeah. go for a startup you either go for product based companies any type of company so in that case you need to first understand your basics so first thing was to clear all the basic concepts like sharding caching or uh, some basic concept like atomic properties or something like that everything so basically you need to understand every design patterns what how many design structure behavior patient so first of all if you cover all the basics after covering all the basics after learning each and every concepts in depth and writing the notes of that then i move forward to the question wise okay because if i talk about particularly about hld okay hld is like a high level design mm-hmm. so for that first of all learning and whatever the work you have done in your current company that will play a major role because hld is all about the concepts you are working on and the concept it's coming in your mind and how efficiently you build your uh, architecture of a product that it should be scalable adaptable and easy easily available okay so that's all about the constant learning which you are currently working in your organization plus from the other resources plus from the articles 
and plus from the author name Alex Zhu, it, he have a book called Systems and Interview. You can follow that book. That like one of the best resources. And of course, Shreyan's videos. You can go through all LLDs and HLD videos. Those are most helpful and useful in for HLD and for LLD also same thing. Like it's all about like low level design. So whatever you code, you need to know all the design patterns and how you're using your design patterns in your current projects. So that will be the one of the best way to see a live example. Like how is it working, and then start preparing according to that. Pick up some questions from the internet or any other uh, info, uh, channels or any other sheets or like that, and start working on that. Yeah. That's all about the practice you do. Awesome, good. Okay, so uh, apart yeah. from this, what topics you find that in you know, DSA DSA has so many topics, right? What topics you find yeah. that as a club together? These are the five topics on your top. You can say that top five topics. Okay. Of okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. So one of the majorly topics which questions I got asked from is like one of the linked list topics. Okay, you need to know, go, go through the all the types of the questions on the linked list. Another is array, sub array kind of thing. Okay, another is graph and queue. So there will be like, if you're going for the good companies like Amazon or some other big companies, fan companies like that. Okay, in that case, they will definitely go in the graphs or BFS, DFS. Generally, most of the questions will be around BFS and DFS and graphs. Okay, so, so for the good startups. And if you talk about like some good product with some of your lower startups or like that, in that case, they will be mainly focusing on arrays, linked list, strings like that searching patterns sortings and all those things so like that generally goes. one thing is you said that you have two months of notice period right and yeah. maybe in your previous company you might be having three months of notice period before that and, yeah. you might yeah. be two, and before that you might have three so does this three years or yeah. uh, not three years sorry if i said the years uh, two months and three months so Having three months of notice period, two months of notice period, have you faced certain challenges in uh, while scheduling the interview? Hey, uh, it's too big, uh, too, oh, definitely. Too, too long, huh? Definitely, definitely. So when I was switching my first company from Hexaver to Daily Hunt, okay. So Hexaver was a service-based consulting company. So they have a three months of notice period. So whenever I was applying at that time, I, I and that's what my thinking is, I never gone directly, uh, put my papers and start applying for the. So first I took one job in my hand, then I put my paper. So that's what my strategy generally, because I want to be on the safer side. I have at least one offer in my hand, then I will put my papers, okay. So initially when companies ask, like you have a three months notice period and you didn't even start your notice period, we are not going to wait this long. So what things I generally say that is to a HR or some manager like that, you take my interviews first. After that interviews, if you find that I'm very good enough in my skills or technical skills, what values I can bring to a company. Based on that, you can wait. Okay, because they have a mindset that we have a three months notice period. So definitely he will be applying into different, different companies and he will get a better offer based on the current offer. So I just say, you just take my interviews, you get all the things and you give me offer letter at the end of my notice period. At least you give me some intent letter, something kind of that. Okay. And also like if you talk to your current company, if it's a three months notice period. So if you request to your manager that you have done your job, you have, what are the projects you were assigning to, you have completed everything. You have given a KT to respective people also. So can you reduce my three months notice period to two months or one and a half months depending on the managers. Okay. So most of the times the manager are really understandable and in my case generally and they shorted my notice period okay from three months to one and a half or two months like that so i can okay. say i was lucky also or maybe i had that good communication. so here communication skills are also very good so how well you are committing with your manager your things and all the problems what you have faced and why you're looking for a switch and everything so that's really yeah. play an important role i'm glad that you have a very good manager because this just bring me one instant <laughs> that uh, I was in Chennai. I was working at PayPal. So at my roommate, uh, he was working in one of the company, a service base, and okay. he wanted. Uh, he always said that I, I want to work in Python, 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 Python. And currently, I think he was working in mainframe kind of thing in service base. Okay. Okay. And uh, what happened is he was not getting a release. So and he has to switch to that. So what he used to do is he he always discussed me at after coming to office. Shall I fall down on the floor? Uh, just uh, do that. <laughs> ho gaya, this ho gaya. I know that this conversation he like he just plan for it like how to get an early relief, making like okay, I'm going to fall down there. So so one thing I want to mention here is Shriyansh, that for the early release, now whatever I felt is, you should have a really good relationship with your manager. Okay? Correct, correct. So that's, that's one of the 
key important crucial things you can come up with for things okay yeah, because if you have good understanding with your manager then definitely they will understand your concern and they will do the certain things to help them out correct, to help correct. them as basically yeah. so, okay yeah. so one more things uh, i have as mind is like uh currently your resume format which you might have so can you yeah. maybe after this call can you just uh, remove your personal information like phone email id or certain any personal information but can you please give us or show us your resume form definitely i will share it with you and all the things yeah cool cool i'm happy so, to help people yeah sure sure thanks a lot so after this call uh, like i will have description two things basant linkedin profile plus basant uh, resume with certain hidden information so this two links i will uh, put into the description section basant if you have any concern then please yeah. let me know sure sure no issue that's completely fine yeah so that's pretty much from my side right and uh, congratulations again man for cracking so many companies and for doing thank you sir well in your career and also helping other engineers too that you have come forward by yourself I haven't approached you. You said like you wanted to share, so really yeah, appreciate yeah. that, man. Thank you so much for giving me this platform to share my experience. And if someone can really learn from that and get a good job, I'm really glad that if they can help. So awesome. thank you so much for creating the, your channel and your content. Yeah, man. I'm also learning from that itself. <laughs> so it's, uh, <laughs> we are all in the same same thing. Like okay, cool. Okay, man. See you. Thanks a lot. Okay. And. Uh, happy like new company new journey hope you will enjoy yeah. uh, and yeah, your new company man. thank you so much